of you will know that Phoebe Philo made her triumphant return back to fashion after many many years out of the limelight and whatnot and for me at the time when it was announced she was going to come back i was actually surprised that um lvmh didn't make much more of a stink about having her basically you know helm one of her one of their luxury brands and whatnot but i guess the relationship that they've got is kind of you know is, is from way back as well and i guess this is one way to keep phoebe Fallo kind of close to themselves by having a minority stake in her namesake label um even though you'd imagine you know for the, the stuff that she's really been able to produce with her namesake label so far that they want to maybe pump out more stuff for other brands with her kind of direction because i think what she's proved with her return is that phoebe Fallo definitely is that girl she's him as i was mentioned before on social media she definitely is you know above a cut above the rest and i think it was a really good reminder because she's been out of fashion for so long it was great to see her just not miss a step and be able to just get it from day dot so i picked out some of my favorite looks from the collections and as you can see here from the title it says the a1 collection so from what i've kind of led be led to understand from various articles i've been reading online about it um the collection that phoebe fellows now doing with her namesake label will have no fashion shows it will not be in any other retailer it will be direct to consumer via their online stores which i'm really shocked it's become such a big deal in fashion it's something that's always kind of existed in the street world and any other bit of kind of commerce and retail but for some reason fashion people still seem to make such a big deal out of like direct to consumer models and shit but essentially what Phoebe Fowler's doing is she's going to be dropping I think two collections no three collections a year I think A1, A2, A3 and then there's going to be drops in each of those collections no in e yeah a drop in each of those kind of collection of things that are going to be happening if I'm not mistaken let me just double check here I think I saw it be the Financial Times article here. Yeah, it says, yeah, so um, it says here that um, Philo has kept quantity small, purportedly to limit the label's environmental impact, but probably also to whip up the hype. Of the 150 styles that she's designed thus far, no more than 100 each have been produced on average. They'll be released across three edits. So it's actually edits, A1, A2, A3. In the coming months, A2 will drop in spring. So we're seeing these little bits and bobs coming out. But again, like I said, no different than you have a streetwear brand. But, I'd have to pick out some of my favorite bits and bobs that I really like. So number one image is probably the first image you're going to see if you scan through the lookbook on their main website, which is phoebephilo.com. Um, you can find the link probably in the description. I'm going to add it in later. But this first look in terms of a lifestyle image is absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure who the photographer was for this campaign or for this kind of initial kind of lookbook for her collection. But I love just the shapes from the from the cut of the bob and the fringe to the cut of the jacket to the cut of the trousers. It's all done very 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 well and again i think this picture kind of does really well to kind of set the tone for the entire collection in terms of how chic and how modern and how on point it is because that's one thing as well you can never kind of you know um doubt um what's her face Phoebe Fowler on when it comes to the imagery when it comes to the taste level when it comes to the aesthetics of the clothes you know she always does a really good job with them i think of you know i can't think of many Phoebe Fallo campaigns or editorials that kind of or no so yeah, Phoebe Fallo design clothes that were featured in editorials that look shit or even their campaigns it doesn't happen so I like that first of all um I think these back zip trousers will be incredibly popular I'm not really too sure why functionality function functional wise why they will be popular but I guess just in terms of a bit of sensuality a little bit of um dynamism and whatnot these will make some sort of sense these trousers with just these massive um um, zips that go right from the bottom all the way up to the top so if you need be you could wear some you know different color panties and stuff to show them off and stuff whatever but i expect these trousers to be incredibly popular when they do originally launched um i loved a lot of these kind of leather pieces especially the ones that are cut the way that they are here again you've got this nice cinch on the waist and how it kind of pops out there along the bottom and it's sort of like bell bottom type of style and again you would imagine like us like, you know most people would say with we follow she's definitely the greatest mum designer of all time and this all does look like stuff that your mum uh you know a really trendy yummy mummy would kind of be into because it allows you to be somewhat practical but also feel a bit chic and a bit cute as well especially when you think of that cinch there in the middle um one of my favorite pieces or looks actually is this look that features this lady that kind of looks like little sims so big up phoebe Fowler for beating racism rumors by you know featuring her in there but essentially what you got from this look is you got this incredible 
M65 type of jacket featured here, but it's made in this really, it's cut in this really amazing relaxed clap of style. I'm not sure what the material is, but it looks really light and fresh. And then you've got this really nice kind of funnel thing that's going on on the top. And this feels like a bit of a signature on Phoebe Philo design clothes where she's got this sort of like elongated exaggerated sort of like funnel type of thing um that you kind of that would help you to kind of go over your face if need be if you're a bit cold and whatnot it sort of doubles up as a sort of like a face shield type of scarf type of thing whatever I really like that as to I actually like this really um big what looks like a money clip that's been turned into a some sort of clip that you can put on your clothes or whatnot for extra bit of detailed styling tips so i'm a big fan of those um and then of course some of the lifestyle images are really well done and really well shot um i'd like i'd love to know who the photographer was for these because they look really amazing i love this sort of um you know crazy jacket as well i'm not too sure what the materials are in terms of what it's made of actually i maybe have to check on the actual online store let's see if it loads up here because most of the stuff is sold out which is absolutely wild when you consider some of the prices but then again you consider all the hype around phoebe philo and the fact that people have been kind of waiting with baiting breath um for her to kind of drop um it's no surprise that most of it is kind of gone flying out of shells the the, the mum bracelets and the mum necklace is completely gone which is wild because if i'm not mistaken it's sterling silver as well <laughs> with gold coating which is kind of crazy but it shows the power that she has you have an uh, xl canvas bag i'm trying to see where that big fairy number is it might be the piece actually that was priced on um you know pressed pressed on fucking availability or something poa i remember that was one jacket that you had to kind of email them to find out what the price is so that might be it anyway let's go back to the thing um that's a really cool jacket i think these are fashion guys are going to be into it i really like this look as well do this like i wouldn't call i'm not sure if you'd call this a tunic i think it is but again i think this is a classic phoebe philo um design shape i think like i've seen her design tunics or tunics to this type of shape and this sort of dimensions or proportions sorry when she was at selena maybe a bit with chloe as well i love this because it's really again really chic really relaxed easy to wear but there is a element of sensuality in it too in terms of what you want to wear it as if you're a yummy mummy that still wants to step out and look amazing and then of course we've got these pesta resistance trousers which i think are the same material as a coat there above so if you want to go completely all fur you probably could if you wanted to but this is also i think i remember reading on an article i think it was the cut um interview or cut review courtesy of kathy horn and she mentioned how when she went to do the press um kind of preview for the new phoebe philo collection they were told under no certain terms that they couldn't speak about the collection the phones were locked away um and obviously after the embargo was lifted they could talk when the collection actually dropped and i think she mentioned part of the reason why they were so secrets you know secrets um secretive about everything was obviously to build a hype but mostly it was an issue of they didn't want anything to be copied they didn't want to have leaks of every year's collection and then have it kind of pop up all over a Taobao or fucking you know whatever else place that exists out there um and then again nice shapes here on this other outfit too i love some of the little detailing bits and bobs here with the i think that looks like a ring or the end of a clip or something i'm not too sure but that looks really great one of my favorite looks um the mum necklace is a really Really funny look because this looks like this could be a boy i'm not too sure if it is but again a nice little hit a nice little styling hit very well done there i'm a big fan of dario Wabowie, um this model here who's been out the limelight for a while but i think she came back with i think i'm gonna say gucci recently she came back but i remember her mostly because that was some of my formative years reading like early magazines of like you know vogue paris when emmanuela old and before that karen royfeld was the editor-in-chief over there and then some of their models took you know some of their go-to models were people like Dario Wabowie because she was just always looked immensely cool in clothes it's another good example of it uh, that just looks really good in terms of the shirt and the bag just chilling and having a good time I think that bag is actually sold out as well right the one with the, the three different compartments I'm pretty sure that one sold out too I also I'm, I'm a fan of this sequin looking top if I'm not mistaken on the website it describes itself as a long t-shirt so I love the fact that that's the case because then it also reminds me of free um fucking young fuck because that's something that he mentioned also when he was asked about wearing that kind of leopard famous leopard print dress that he wore that time again a big fan of the proportions and the cuts and the shapes and stuff um these glasses look 
crazy good and these are also another item that sold out if i'm not mistaken checking the actual phoebe filer website itself i'm sure i saw it there we go yep there's glasses there i think they're called the peak sunglasses they're unfortunately sold out but they look really really hard man that's a good pair of sunglasses i'm surprised these definitely flew off the shelf the angular kind of like cat eye look to these glasses look really really great so you can move on to that one and also i'm not a fan i'm not i don't mind these crystal type of earrings as well they look fairly decent you've got a nice big tote bag there and again i like this money clip type of um, accessory that clips onto the outside pocket there or anywhere else i'm assuming and then of course one of my favorite looks on the entire collection is this mostly because of the bob and the cut but also because of how everything sits on the body you've got some angles here a couple of angles there as with the bag and then you've got this amazing image amazing amazing image um, again, a bit of big fur number we got going on there. I'm not too sure what the earrings are saying there, but I'm a big fan of those. And then we got some of the looks towards the end of the lookbook, which is this one, which kind of reminds me a little bit of Katie Holmes. Um, and then we've also got another image here of Dara Wabo as well, looking internally cool. And one of my favorite jackets too, which is this really strange. It almost felt like this is, might be one of those leather flips of the same jacket that he already featured before. I'm not too sure that's the case, but anyway, whatever. It does look like a really nice um, field jacket that's been made in leather. And then you've got this really nice cinch here on the waist that kind of helps accentuate the hips and makes it look a little bit you know less masculine than maybe it would do if it was made just like a typical old vintage shop kind of leather bomber jacket so yeah big up for you fella for this um i'm not surprised that most of the stuff is selling out the reviews of go are glowing everybody's flipping you know queuing up to fucking suck a dick but again it's not surprised because i think the the, the thing that you realize straight away when you see the collection is just how vast it is it's crazy how much stuff is included in that collection that like she went absolutely crazy but it also makes sense considering how much time she's been away and the fact that her taste levels have still been the same but she's got different needs and what she wants to see on the wrong way bloody blah, blah 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 so we probably won't hear much from her because she's notoriously quite press shy especially after all the you know iman coming out and saying what she said the legendary model i'm pretty sure she's going to want to avoid any kind of real conversations about real issues in with terms of race inclusivity and diversity and fashion and shit but if it just means she's going to be putting out collection after collection i'm here for it because i would love to see more imagery maybe we will get maybe a sneaky interview with her with somebody else one time who knows but i'm curious to see how it kind of evolves because i love the idea of it just basically being state wardrobe staples and i think that's something that they don't really consider a lot in fashion because everything's so like you know fashion with a capital f and there's lots of trends attached to it and all this malarkey when i like sometimes yeah to just be that's probably why i fell in love so much with demna and vetamon when that first started because it's in a name do you know what i mean vetamon is basically clothes like in the business of making clothes and you can extend that saying the business of making clothes for my fans you know for my supporters all that stuff is super important so um big up them for being able to do that big up them for being able to do that phoebe philo to the world and back again and i actually do love the squares this Design of the online store where when things are in stock they put the natural light when they're not they're all gone in red so i'm assuming soon you'll be able to scroll down this list of items to just see it all completely red which would be absolutely incredible when you consider everything that's going on in the world right now but yeah big up um big up phoebe philo big up phoebe philo one time big up phoebe philo one time